Hi, I'm Travis and welcome to my closet. Today we're going to be talking about a wallet. In particular, the Coach Slim ID card holder. This is a, a really good product and it is pretty small and thin, which does run into some problems, which we'll go over in this review. But uh, I've got two. I've got this one here. I, I believe with the the little downward lip right there, that that would be the front. And I have the khaki. This is uh, the blue on black. Even though once you put cards in it, up here the cards cover the black, so it, it's a blue gray. And this one here is the khaki with the classic coach pattern. The difference between the colors, also this one says coach here and has a little tiny coach emblem and underneath says New York. I don't know if that will focus, but there's an idea. Now that is not found on this wallet at all. Um, it's all to your liking, so however you like it. I like having these two colors because I don't know if you've noticed in some of my other videos, I wear a lot of blues, browns, and blacks. Um, I like the way they can go together, and I like the way um, you can just get two different products usually from Coach, and it will match most of your wardrobe. So for instance, this is the one I use today because it's matching a lot of the colors I have on. As you can see here, I have a blue back on and it matches, the gray matches well. So when you're going to pull this out of your pocket, you have a well-matched theme. Now, speaking of themes, I wanna start going over the suit of the day. Today, I am wearing the Michael Kors Mini Logo Pink Poppy Lace-Ups. These were featured in a video the other day. And I'll show you here, if you haven't seen that video, that I paired it with the um, Ralph Lauren Polo socks that are mostly blue with a, a mild pink stripe. And to go along with that, I put on a uh, Tommy Highflyer shirt that has this pink, blue, white, and almost a gray to it. So it's very versatile and it, it doesn't scream pink. Basically, I wanted to have a, a good mix of pink in there but without these poppy shoes being like a bright, bright pink, I didn't feel it necessary to wear a solid pink shirt. Um, my fedora is a gray on black. And uh, this particular brand is Stetson. I believe that's what JCPenney sells. I get my fedoras anywhere I can. They're not a common hat. And uh, you'll have a lot of luck finding some pretty good products at Dillard's. Um, I've struck out at most JCPenney's, but I went to one of their stores that was closing and found this one. And Amazon also has a really good selection. But you get what you pay for, if you know what I mean. So with that said, let's get back to the wallets. Now, when I first got this wallet... I planned on going paperless. I was not planning on carrying cash anymore. That's a fallacy. It just didn't happen. It was impractical and this is really hard to get your cards and your cash into, which I'll show you now. I've got just a handful of random cards and uh, let's see here. Don't get excited because they're all expired. But we're going to load up this wallet and uh, take a look at what it, what it looks like once it's full. So we'll put a card here on the top. 
we'll just pick another one and we'll put it uh right here because it's three it's a three slots total of six with a middle pocket that middle pocket as i'm going to show you here in a second becomes useless i use it for petty cash so we'll slide our cards in and this one is a couple months old and it's had time to stretch like any good leather product it initially is pretty tight but has the ability to stretch over time allowing it to give a little bit more and not get loose within your first couple months of use so here we go this is what it looks like packed and if you see here the pocket in the middle I'm I have this squeeze technique which kind of turns it into an S and then you kind of got to work that pocket open and you're not going to do much damage to your cards uh, they're not that fragile but you can, there's really nothing you can do with that um, I have found the best way to get your petty cash in here if I can find any let's see here well looks like I'm broke <laughs> all right so if you get your petty cash and you want to you take it can only handle I've found max max is about six to seven bills so uh, here I've got I've got two and what you're gonna do is you're gonna place them together and fold them in half and I used to fold them in half again so that once I stuck them in the wallet they weren't hanging out but I found it was just too much of a headache to go fishing the way I showed you a second ago for cash when I needed it so what I do is I start with the edge here and then I do a rocking motion while giving it a light squeeze on the sides this lets it slip in most of the way it still will hang out and as you can see these have been been carried around in my other wallet today so it's gonna bend the edges as you carry it around but it doesn't hang out it's not like a money clip where you're flaunting how much you're carrying and it's just an easy way to be able to uh, have some cash on you now if you're more of the type that has uh, like like a, a smartwatch where you're going to be paying a lot uh, with just the tap of your watch and you're not really concerned with carrying paper money at all you just are kind of like me and you you would like that emergency fund you know um, you go into the gas station to get a soda pop and their systems down and their card readers not working what have you we've all been there so you can fold it like this that's just one more time in half and the same technique works but you kind of just bury it down in there getting it in is the easy part getting it out is definitely a lot more difficult but like I just said this is if you want some emergency money just tucked away put it in there forget about it um, when that rainy day comes there you go it's there I don't have a favorite between the two well I guess now that I said it out loud I'm kind of lying this uh, I, I like the 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 C and coach I like that pattern more than I do the actual coach with the horse um, user preference but I'm just not a huge fan of the the, the horse drawn coach uh, I like also the fact that it, it says coach here I highly doubt anybody has ever seen that since I've been carrying this and um, it's just for me it's it's uh, self pride or however you want to put it it just it, it, it it's raised it gives you some dimension it, it adds character it is like a bron well a mm, <laughs> I did this in one of my other videos uh, I guess I'm not good with my metals I'd say this is between a, a bronze it's not a copper but it's a, like a, a bronze you know what you tell me down in the comments because I obviously don't know my metal colors that well 
Um, anyways, what I really love about this, even though I had some complaints, is look how thin it is. This is just micro thin. I have six cards. That allows me to carry multiple forms of ID, health insurance cards, and a credit card, multiple bank cards. I mean, with six, that's quite a bit. And when I transferred from my Louis Vuitton uh, wallet, which was a bifold, it made a huge difference, immediately huge difference. And I will show you an example right now. Now let's see, slip my pocket back in where it belongs and we'll slip this in. Now there's nothing else in there and usually I'll be carrying a few things like keys and whatnot, but I'll try to get it to show and you can see it here. Now that's, that's putting your leg up and putting quite a bit of stress on your pants. Usually if I'm going to be putting my pants, like my leg up on something like that, I would give it a little bit of a room to not stretch out the material, but it's hardly noticeable. Now I'll show you the bifold, but I won't show you the actual wallet because that is in a future review. But let me show you the difference real quick. Now, mind you, this is empty. This is a completely empty wallet that has been retired. And without even barely lifting my leg, we can see a definite imprint of a wallet there. It's summertime. I've got my sleeves rolled up. I don't want to be wearing a jacket with a, a wallet pocket on the inside. And I'm not... Waistcoats don't come with those type of pockets. And you never put anything in these pockets except for a pocket square. So this being an empty wallet is pretty cumbersome. Um, it gives you panty lines. We'll just say panty lines. Uh, we all know what that is and I, you don't want that. So even though I love, and I had it for many years, my Louis Vuitton bifold, it is just too much of an eyesore. Now, I just realized a lot of people don't carry their wallet in their front pocket. I have ever since I was in the Marine Corps because um, when you are hanging around uh, pickpockets are going to go for your back pocket. So I've always, always kept my wallet in my front pocket. So I guess to be fair and to show the difference in appearance, also, you know, I want to mention real quick, um, sitting on a thick wallet, and this one isn't super thick, but sitting on a thick wallet for your whole life will twist your lower back, causing back pain throughout the years. And with some people that have had let's say 50 receipts in their wallet and it was super thick, it has caused extreme issues with just kind of their body growing wrong around it. All right, sorry, that's my little uh, PA. Okay, so if we stick it in our back pocket, it's not nearly as noticeable. Um, you, you still have a little bit of a wallet bulge, but I mean, people are used to that. That's that's pretty a common. Um, once it's full, you will have about a third more thickness that you're now sitting on. Um, and with the coach, you're going to be going into a lot lower profile in your back pocket. It even wants to lay. Well, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to lay vertically, it wants to fall down horizontally. So, and this is the first time I've done this, this actually is a little bit of a problem. It looks like I'm kind of digging around back here, trying to get it back out. And the reason why is once I set it into the pocket, it rotated into a downward position like this, and just kind of sat there, but didn't want to get pulled out that way. So, as part of the review, that's, that's definitely something to take into account. 
but it isn't giving off nearly as much of a profile there. It is still very slim, very concealed, and with a little bit of practice, I'm sure you could get used to doing a half spin as you take it out. But once again, right now, I'll show you, I'm trying to take it out and my pocket's coming with it. See this? It's, it's really not liking that at all. So I'm glad that I uh, realized that a lot of people out there are back pocket people and uh, might have that difficulty that I just ran into. Um, but overall, it's a really great wallet. Uh, it's, it's a great buy. And with it being economically affordable to some degree compared to similar products along the same range, uh, you are able to get sometimes multiples so you can match them with your suit. All right. I'm Travis, and thanks for hanging out in my closet. Bye. Hey, guys. Travis here. Just wanted to thank you for watching my reviews and also take a minute to request that you leave a like and possibly a subscription if you're enjoying the content you're seeing so far. We hear it a lot on YouTube. Please like and subscribe or or like or 10 ghosts will visit you. And uh, the truth is I'm just a new channel and uh, every like will bring a smile to my face. <laughs> oh, must have just got a like. All right. Thanks for joining me in my closet, and you all have a good one.